Today we are reading Psalm 142. This is Baruch Fleischman. This is the Tigran Elevator call out. So it says at the conclusion of the previous Psalm, the vid prayed, protect me from the snare they laid for me and the, from, from the traps of those who tra practice iniquity. None of David's enemies had come as close to trapping him as did King Saul, who pursued David to his remote mountain hideaway. Surrounded on all sides, David and his tiny band retreated to their last hideout deep in the dark cave. At that terrible moment of despair, David saw himself on the brink of death. He composed this prayer to God, pleading for a last-minute reprieve. Ibn Yahya comments, comments that David's hazardous situation was a precursor of the desperate plight which the Jews will face during their exile amongst the nations. There, too, the tiny nation will be surrounded by hostile enemies, and the Jews will eventually come to realize that their only path the only path of escape is in prayer to God, and they will gain their freedom only by rededicating themselves to God. Now, this is our situation right now. But maybe I'm thinking it's only beginning. As the psalm concludes, Release my soul from confinement to thank your name. What is that confinement? Here's the psalm. A mouse killed by David when he was in the cave. A prayer with my voice I shout to Asher. With my voice I plead with Asher. I pour out my plaint before him. My distress I declare before him. When my spirit faints within me, then you know my path. On this road I walk. They have laid a snare for me. Look to the right and see. I have none who knows me. Every escape is lost to me. No one seeks to save my life. I have shouted to you, Hashem. I have said you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my cry for I have been brought very low. Rescue me from my pursuers, for they are stronger than I am. Release my soul from confinement to thank your name. The righteous will crown themselves with me when you reward me.